I wish that Robbie had known the effect that he had on a lot of people. He paddled in a couple of seasons, what a lot of people won't do in their whole lifetime. Yeah. Like before kayaking, he was obsessed with like, was it climbing, or I think before that it was like table tennis. Whatever he wanted to be good at, he, that was all of his attention was on that. He lived a lot in the time he had. He was so fucking happy. Yeah. He had some really incredible, real friendships, relationships. Yeah, he lived a short life, but it was a full life. Yeah, he liked the class five and the big waterfalls, but he would equally enjoy a good play run lap or a good lap down or what. It didn't always have to be scary kayaking with Rob. Yeah, it's like when I'm kayaking is when I feel closest to him, and, and uh, as a result, I've actually my experience of kayaking has just been actually more enjoyable than ever, which is, seems really strange to say. I definitely find that's when I most think about him is when I'm on the river. It's not always positive, I get quite scared, but it hasn't put me off kayaking at all. I was like, okay, I'm not in the mental place that I want to risk my life anymore. Like, it's quite weird. Like, I love paddling with people. I can't watch other people seem very easily. Enough. Yeah, I'd rather be slightly more reserved and walk something and not be that top paddler, but not have as many close calls. Coming back to Norway has definitely been a massive help because I didn't think I was coming back. Because, and I didn't really want to because it was going to bring back so many of these feelings and emotions of spending time with Rob and where the accident happened. And, but actually coming back has been quite nice because there's so many good people around here and I've got so many good memories with Rob here. It helps to keep thinking about him. If I learned something from that accident, it was maybe if I'm going to do something, a big waterfall or a big rapid, or I'm going to be on the river with people, let's think about the people that are going to be affected by if something goes wrong, not just yourself. Does he want us to push as hard as we were? Um, when I think about it in the end, and what I came to is it's everyone's, it's a very personal decision how much risk you take, and no matter what you do, everyone takes risk. Some people take more than others. It's the beauty of life, really, of like how, how people choose to live it and what amount of risk they take and what they do with it. When someone dies, you have to try and focus on as many of the positives as you can because there is so many <laughs> sad things and things that will bring you down from it. Like what really stood out to me about Robbie, he didn't try and be something he wasn't. He just was himself and the whole community, like everyone in the whole community, like really liked him for that. And he brought something special into the kayaking world because of that. It's just something unique, something different.